the second award presentation this evening is the Spirit of Lincoln Award, and it will be presented by Josh Claiborne, a member of the Abraham Lincoln Association Board, uh, who oversees the Abraham Lincoln Association website and has developed many podcasts known as the Lincoln Log. Um, so please welcome Josh Claiborne. As Michael mentioned, my name is Joshua Claiborne, and along with my colleague, Bill Bartelt, we are the token Hoosiers on the ALA Board of Directors. We actually hail from Lincoln's boyhood home in southwest Indiana as well, pretty close to where he grew up. And Indiana, of course, is where South Bend is in the north, North Vernon is in the south, and French Lick isn't what you think it is. As many of you know, but uh, far too few in the general public know, Abraham Lincoln spent a third of his life in Indiana from age 7 to 21. As uh, my colleague Bill likes to point out, imagine your own life from age 7 to 21 and how important that period of time was to you. So it was with Lincoln. Therefore, it is altogether fitting and proper that this year's Spirit of Lincoln Award should go to another Hoosier, the Honorable Randy Shepard. The award recognizes uh, professional achievement and public service in the spirit of Abraham Lincoln. The award itself is a bust of Abraham Lincoln by Illinois sculptor John McClary, made specifically for this award. It is also bestowed very infrequently. I believe this may, I could be wrong on the exact number, but I think this may only be the fourth time the ALA has bestowed this war, award. President Lincoln and his administration were the force behind many laws that Americans still feel the effects of today. The fact that he worked to improve the lives of Americans through legislation while serving as commander in chief during the Civil War inspired a committee of the ALA to create this award. The Honorable Randy Shepard of Evansville was appointed to the Indiana Supreme Court by Governor Orr in 1985 at the young age of 38. He became Chief Justice of Indiana in March 1987 and retired in 2012, at which point he was the longest serving Chief Justice in Indiana history and the senior Chief Justice in the country's state Supreme Court. A seventh generation Hoosier, Shepard graduated from Princeton University cum laude and from Yale Law School. He earned a Master of Laws degree in the judicial process from the University of Virginia. As I mentioned, like me, he grew up in the shadow of Lincoln's boyhood home, and I think many, for largely that reason, uh, Justice Shepard grew up with a deep love of history. I could go on and on about the tremendous history projects he has spearheaded throughout the entire state of Indiana, uh, just remarkable through and through. Uh, among other things, he's a trustee emeritus of the National Trust for Historic Preservation and a former chair of Indiana Landmarks, which in our state is uh, a, an organization truly to behold. Since leaving the court, Shepard has served as senior judge in the Indiana Court of Appeals and as executive in residence at I Indiana University's Public Policy Institute. He now chairs the American Bar Association Task Force on the Future of Legal Education um, and remains very involved, like I said, in projects throughout the state. As a young as aspiring lawyer, as I am and was, growing up in southwest Indiana, there are two icons in my generation, and really, frankly, several generations above me that we all seek to emulate. The first is Abraham Lincoln, who, as we discussed, is a Hoosier, above all else. <laughs> the second is the Honorable Randy Shepard. He embodies civility, fairness, wisdom, and humility, very much like Lincoln. For Hoosier lawyers anywhere in the state, he's the legal equivalent of Michael Jordan or the Beatles, the most well-known, the most widely respected, and frankly, the most to embody the ideals of Abraham Lincoln. It is my honor this evening to present the Honorable Randy Shepard with the ALA's Spirit of Lincoln Award.
my goodness, uh, what, what a wonderful Tuesday this has been. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Joshua. And uh, uh, I can only begin to tell you how how meaningful this uh, has been to me, uh, and uh, 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 quite unexpected, like uh, uh, as our last recipient uh, said. Um, but, but one thing I want to be sure I don't pass up is uh, something um, uh, is a, a very important family contribution. Um, my wife, who is sitting next to me, is named Amy McDonald. Her middle name is Wynne, W-Y-N-N-E. -N -N -E. And um, the Wynns uh, took uh, took up residence uh, before Amy found her way to Indiana, took up residence uh, in Sagamon County, uh, here north of uh, Springfield, where her four greats grandfather, Thomas Wynne, did something very important when Lincoln was running for re-election to the Illinois legislature. He launched his own campaign, ran against Lincoln, beat him in several townships and lost. <laughs> what, would, what would have happened if Thomas Wynne uh, <laughs> hadn't found that secret sauce and uh, 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 allowed Lincoln to get reelected to the legislature? Well, um, thanks so much to uh, Joshua Claiborne and Bill Bartelt. Uh, you would know um, how respected they are in our state. They, they contribute in a long, a long variety of innovative ways to the world of education, to the world of law. Uh, they promote the love of history, um, in particular, of course, uh, the love of the history that has to do with Lincoln. And, and it is a matter of, of, of pride and gratitude uh, for uh, people from Indiana that, uh, that they are a part of the uh, leadership of this association and that they are part of, of Indiana civic life. I've known about the association. Um, I, I'm a friend of uh, former Chief Justice uh, Frank Williams, who spent almost a decade as, uh, as president of the association. And, uh, and I've known uh, Rita Garman, who won uh, this uh, same award, a member of the Illinois uh, Supreme Court. And, and yes, uh, Mike Burlingame, I, I, you've called my attention to the purpose of these forms, and I will sign up and become a member. Least I can, least I can do. Um, well, um, like uh, uh, like our friend, uh, I uh, I grew up in three states: uh, Kentucky, Indiana, and Illinois. Uh, moved to ultimately first in uh, Kentucky, later in in. Uh, Illinois, then in Indiana, and um, and so I know those three states very well, and I and I appreciate the sort of the feeling of what those three states are like, um, and how we think of uh, Illinois, Kentucky, uh, and and Indiana, land of Lincoln. What a grand uh, name uh, for this state. Um, Kentucky is a wonderful place. Uh, Governor Orr, whom uh, Josh uh, mentioned once uh, said to a friend who'd moved back and forth between Kentucky and Indiana, he said, I know, I know uh, why he, he loves Kentucky. Kentucky is a place where you can stand on the banks of a great river and see the promised land. <laughs> and, uh, 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 and, and of course, uh, as, as Josh has said, uh, Indiana made its own contribution uh, to Lincoln. Um, Look, we're, we're among friends here. We know the role these three states played. And as one of our former governors said, Indiana made Lincoln and Lincoln made Illinois. And, and we, were, <laughs> we were grateful for that, uh, really. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'll say finally, in, in, um, in, in memory and in his spirit, um, one of my favorite speeches of all time is the second inaugural. And you all know that it's a, sort of a set a world record uh, for short speeches, 701 words all together. Um, 
And he explains at the beginning of the speech why this is a moment for, for brevity. Um, thinking of his applause for brevity, I'll mention seven words of those 700, 701 words that I think fit the America uh, in which we now live and, and fit our own best service that we could provide. You'll know these by heart. Let us bind up the nation's wounds. It's a time when the nation needs that uh, as much as any time in my life. And the inspiration that Lincoln could be for all of us is more important in that respect than ever before. So I thank you for this marvelous recognition. But I thank the association as well for helping us feel inspired to the message and messages of Lincoln and inspired to do whatever it is we can do in his honor and to make America better tomorrow than it is today. Good evening and thank you so much.